Akron Attack of the Squirrels is an addictive game that pits one VR player against up to two to eight other players on mobile devices. This multiplayer focus game is truly popping and is totally worth it if you have some friends to play with or you can connect online. Thankfully, the game only needs to be purchased by anyone wanting to play in VR, which allows for a ton of players to try the game for free on mobile devices. The purpose of the overall game is for the VR tree player to protect his acorns from getting stolen by the squirrels. The VR player in this case gets to play as a tree, whereas the other players get to be one of four different squirrels. The tree has three main attacks, all on different cooldowns. Obviously, he can't move. One of the attacks is a glob of slowing jelly. The second attack is an almost no cooldown bomb of sorts. Last of all, his third attack is a giant boulder. Anyone that gets hit by it from either being thrown or rolling gets knocked out. To win, the tree must prevent the squirrels from stealing four acorns that slowly spawn over time near the tree. Then we have the squirrels. Their goal is to steal four acorns any way possible and return them to their starting mound. Starting with Chunk, who is considered the tank of the group, his special ability would be to spawn a giant shield to protect himself or others from a barrage of ammo being thrown by the tree. He can also place a shield and after a sword cooldown, spawn another one. The shields can take several hits and are an essential part of the party composition. Next up is Doug, who has the ability to dig tunnels that other squirrels can use as well. These are extremely helpful when getting to and from the tree, and placing these wisely around the battlefield is essential to having a winning strategy. After that, we have Zip. Zip has incredible speeds, and Zip's ability to boost said speed combined with the tunnels can really get him around the field and create total chaos for any tree not paying attention. Last but not least is Sim. Sim's ability is to build ramps or bridges of wood. These platforms are slightly angled up and really allow them to turn a field that's hard to manage into something that allows ease of movement for other squirrels. They are also good at blocking projectiles if you continue to lay them down. It's with a combo of these four you truly stand the best chance of taking on an experienced tree. We brought together five players to review and test this game out, and it was completely worth it. The mobile devices we used were somewhat old, as with my phone and squirrel footage being from a Samsung S7, but it did work on iPhones as well without any issues. Overall, we had a ton of fun, especially with my mother, who hasn't been in VR since the original Vive. Where's the... Ah Jeez, those just scared the me. Where are they? <laughs> Isn't, wow. that, isn't that great? Isn't that great? Ah! You have to put your hands through a oh. oh my oh goodness. goodness. Everyone got a chance to play as the tree one or two rounds, and they found that being the tree was overall the most fun. Playing this game on mobile was a double-edged sword. Yes, the controls were simple to learn and easy to implement, but it was the inability to change camera angles that really made it more difficult than it was supposed to be. It also really helps to have a Discord or voice chat going where you can communicate with other players, as without it, you really have almost no hope against the tree that knows how to play. This brings us to the main portion of our review, the positives and our wish list. The game works phenomenally in VR. I have almost zero complaints. It ran like butter, like it's supposed to, on a 2080 Ti, of course. It also ran very well on mobile devices, and I am insanely surprised that it ran so well on some of our older phones, including this S7. I am sad that we only got to spend an hour playing this game for our review, but the games are short, so it really worked out to our benefit. I think most of us felt that the tree was slightly overpowered with the unlimited spawning second ammo with no cooldown. Having said that, I feel the balance was very good between the tree and the squirrels, and I'm not sure I would change anything at this time. The squirrels were incredible, and I loved every one of them. We found that carefully using their special skills while working together to be an extremely effective way of defeating the tree, especially on smaller maps. The map choices were fantastic, as some showed a clear benefit to the tree, being large and complicated, and others were clearly easier for the squirrels being smaller and more compact. I am very happy with the eight map choices and the ability to select random, as that felt the most fair to both parties. I don't have almost anything negative to say about this game, but I will admit most of us were frustrated 
to have to play without a spinning camera. The camera is fixed on the tree and it's hard to see any vertical projectiles being thrown at you or if you have to run away anything in the opposite direction of the tree. Besides that, I think we mostly have a wish list of things we would love to see if it's even possible to implement them. The ability to spin your camera in opposite direction by holding a button, almost like a rear view mirror in driving simulators, would be nice. I think the ability to play a squirrel in VR third person would be an incredible addition. I am aware of zero games that have attempted to implement this, but for the sake of Kelly who gets motion sick, I truly believe that a third person view in VR would work. I'm not sure how helpful we were in the end, but I will admit that we did play with four bots a couple times, and just from their usage of skills via tunnels, shields, grabbing the acorns, it was very helpful to have four bots with only four human squirrels. Maybe adding a bot difficulty level would be a nice addition. Besides that, I think we would love to see more maps and more squirrel choices. In the end, this is a fantastic game that you really should get either on the Oculus or Steam store and play it with some friends. Thankfully, you only have to buy it once if you are all in the same room and just pass the headset around. Having said that, you could just buy it yourself and join the Akron Discord to find others to play with. Link to their Discord will be below in the description if you'd like that. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, if you appreciate our reviews, you could like, comment, or sub and hit the bell to help us out. Please consider supporting Resolution Games by giving them their feedback or checking out their other games. I hope you live the VR dream and I will see you all in the next video.